Good morning. We're going we're gonna to start a little bit early. Uh, for those of you who I haven't met, my name is Dan Roden, and I'm uh, from Vanderbilt, but I have been tasked uh, to, uh, to organize this meeting. Um, I, I, uh, I was looking at, uh, at the minutes and, and actually some of the videos uh, of, the, uh, of the previous meetings, and, uh, and I want to reiterate something that Rex had said at, uh, at one of the previous meetings, and that is that uh, it, seemed it was two years ago, less than two years ago, that there was a, a retreat to plan a strategic plan for NHGRI at Early House. And there was a vigorous debate at that point about whether genomics was ready for implementation uh, or whether the institute should ignore that implementation stuff and focus on genome science, which is what they had done. And it's, it's sort of hard to think that that debate happened when you, think, look, when you look around this room and think about the projects that each of us are, are thinking about and, and doing. So um, it was less than a year ago that a smaller group than this met at, uh, at O'Hare. Uh, not, not at the Hilton. At uh, at another, we couldn't get into the Hilton that time, and um, uh, started a series of meetings on genomic medicine. So, the notion is to identify directions and priorities for the field, and uh, and really, uh, one way to think about it is to give uh, Eric Green and his uh, uh, associates advice on how NHGRI uh, should uh, support and accelerate progress in this area. And there are lots of possibilities, and they're listed here, and I won't read them to you. Um, so the first meeting uh, a year ago focused on what's really going on in the field. We had presentations from about 30 groups that had uh, a, a whole range of activities, and many of you were, were there. Uh, and I will remember, those of you who weren't, you can go to the web or go to the, uh, or go to the minutes. Uh, the second meeting was in Bethesda in December. And uh, the notion there was to develop, start to develop ideas about multinational, multinational, multicenter, collaborative pilot projects in translational genomic medicine. Uh, a number of working groups were established, and, uh, and we'll hear more from the working groups today. So the notion is that this meeting uh, should focus on um, barriers to uh, executing a vision of, of using genomic medicine in, in the ordinary workflow of healthcare. Uh, so one of the things that we're going to hear from today, one of the constituencies that we're going to hear from today are stakeholders who are outside academic medical centers, payers, uh, 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 laboratory uh, medicine people, so, so that kind of constituency. Uh, we're also going to uh, get some lessons from ongoing implementation efforts that, are, that, are, that we haven't heard from before around biomarkers, around education. The working groups that we've uh, established uh, will be reporting through the through the day later today, and then and then mainly tomorrow. And and Terry and I have left a uh, a small placeholder at the end for high priority areas for evidence generation, and a prelude to the September meeting. And and I, Terry, I, as I was putting these slides together, I couldn't remember whether we had actually set dates and set venues and no, set hosts. No and no. Uh, no. Well, um, hosts most likely, just to let people know, the way that we've been able to fund these is as um, supplements to the eMERGE, eMERGE centers. And so uh, with, with eMERGE being where it is, uh, probably the next one we'll try to have on the West Coast because we're trying to, to shift them around. Um, and there's an eMERGE site in Seattle, so we're, we're aiming for that. I think timing is an issue and one that we want to talk to this group about, whether we do it uh, in September or maybe wait a little bit, do it in December, November, December, that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. So that's, so I, I, it's not like I was told and forgot. <laughs> so um, this meeting, uh, putting together a meeting like this is, uh, is not simple. There's a, a lot of give and take, a lot of conference calls, a lot of emails, a lot of contacting individuals. Uh, the people at Vanderbilt who have been particularly uh, instrumental in making sure that you each have a room making sure that uh, there's a seating plan, making sure there's wireless in this room, all those things that we all take for granted but can't be taken for granted are Melissa Bastard, Robin North, and Lauren. Um, Ian from NHGRI has been helpful. I didn't see Ian. He's not coming today. He's not coming. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, all the support we get from NHGRI. Speaking of which, I'm told that uh, I have to announce that those of you who are here on the federal government's dollar. We're all here on the federal government's dollar, but those of you who actually work at NIH or other federal places whose, whose travel is supported not by us but by you, 
there's a meal charge. Breakfast is $9, lunch is $12, at dinner is $25. Uh, the rest of you, that's uh, uh, covered a different way. So the planning committee for this, uh, uh, in alphabetical order, uh, is listed here. I want to say particular thanks to, uh, to Terry, of course, who's, who's uh, done a huge amount of work in, in trying to help organize the, the details and the big picture. Um, and, uh, and I want to give a special shout out to Mark Williams. Uh, Mark, for some reason, has a lot of contacts in, in the kinds of constituencies that, uh, that we wanted to engage today. So those of you who are here because you were invited by Mark Williams, blame him. Uh, and the rest of us uh, thank him. Uh, so uh, that's all I wanted to say uh, as a start uh, so that you all know why you're here and what we hope to accomplish. And uh, I'll, I'll turn the floor over to Eric. One, 